I'm Meredith Gorman, joined by one of the newest members of the Red Sox broadcast team for this upcoming season, former Red Sox third baseman Will Middlebrooks. Now, Will, congratulations and welcome to the Nesson team. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so happy to be a part of this family. We're so happy to have you here, too. Now, it wasn't too long ago, though, that Red Sox fans saw you win a World Series here. So what's it like coming back and being able to be a part of the games now on the other side of things? Yeah, it, it's definitely been a, a, a pretty smooth transition to the media side of things. You said it wasn't that long ago. We're, we're coming up on a 10-year anniversary, so that makes me feel old. I will say that. But um, being able to work in the media and talk about baseball every day uh, gives me a chance to wear this really cool ring they gave me. So, uh, yeah, it, it's special. And being able to, like I said, be on the media side, but now come over to Nesson, be able to come up to Boston, and, and that place has always felt like a second home to me. And if there's one thing that you probably know from playing here, it's just how passionate the fan base is in Boston. So how will that affect your approach now as you call games as a broadcaster? Well, like I did as a player, it just gives you more fire and more adrenaline and that passion to win, that pressure to win. That's going to that's gonna filter over to the media side to, to push me to be better at my job and uh, really give the best information, the best insight that I could possibly give. And speaking of insight, looking at this year's Red Sox team, who are the players that you're most looking forward to watching on this year's team? Yeah, I mean, obviously with Devers and Bogey and, and those guys, but on the pitching side, which I was a position player, so I can't forget about my pitchers. Uh, I, I'm really excited to see how Tanner Houck has grown as a pitcher, the way he has morphed into somewhat of a Swiss Army knife. You know, he can close, he can start, he can be middle reliever. And then you have Garrett Whitlock, who I think is going to end up being the end of the bullpen lockdown type of pitcher. Um, just watching those guys develop even more this year will be really exciting. All right, Will, we're putting you on the spot here. What are your predictions for this season? This, <laughs> we're just now coming into free agency. This is nuts. I just got baseball back. I felt like I was in a coma, and then I woke up, and baseball's back. You know, I think everybody feels that way. Predictions this year, I think it's going to be a really, really competitive AL East. Boston's always going to be in the mix. We know New York is always going to be in the mix. They're not scared to go out and spend money. I'm excited to see what everyone does with this free agent time and, and the short spring training and, and really get rolling. Um, I can't not pick my socks. I've never not picked the socks just because of how special it is at Fenway. Like I said, that extra push from the fans in the city. So I can't not pick the socks to win the division. I, think, I can't forget about the Blue Jays and the Rays as well. This is going to be an, a, a, a really high talent pool for, for, for a uh, single division in baseball. It's going to be a lot of fun baseball to watch. Yeah, there definitely will be baseball to watch now, which we're obviously excited about. But we're also so excited to have you joining Nesson. So thanks so much for your time, Will. Of course. Thank you so much.